Do you hate all that hugging face, PowerShell, command line, git pull, repository, minus, minus, half your mama still too fat for my drive crap? I hear you. I really do. And boy, do I have news for you. Because today we're going to play with Alpaca Electron. And this is an exit file. You just download it, you click the install, you run the install, and then you put the model into the folder and that's it. And then you have GPT on your computer. You can talk to it, you can ask questions, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. It speaks different languages. How about that? So let's get started here to see how that works. So first of all, we still need to go to GitHub, but don't worry. This is just to download the exit file. So you want to scroll down here and here we see some features that are really cool. So first of all, this doesn't need a GPU. You can run this with a CPU. Now, of course, that makes it a little bit slower, but you don't need an expensive graphics card. Not needed. That's really good. You don't have any dependencies to download all this kind of other nonsense. It uses the same UI as ChatGPT, so you don't have to learn some new interface either. So all of that is pretty cool. Now down here, there is this link for the install. So you click on that and then you come to this page, you scroll down, you will see this has an installer for Linux, for Mac and for Windows. Pretty amazing, right? So you can use it on all of these systems. Now you simply download the exe file and then you simply run that and you're done. That's it. Now, the next thing you need to do, you still need a model, right? So you want to download the Alpaca 7B native enhanced model. This has 5.06 gigabytes. Put it in any kind of folder you want on your drive. So simply click here to download that. And then you want to simply start up the Alpaca access. So go down here to your Windows and write Alpaca. And this comes up, Alpaca Electron. You click on that and it's opening up for you. Now over here, it says change model. You click on this and there you simply enter where you have saved your model file. So in this case, mine is under my username, GPT models, but you can put it anywhere you want. You select that, you click here on confirm and this will load the model and that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, the interesting thing here is I did ask the AI some saucy things too, like about a certain way to pleasure someone. And it actually answered me that. That is pretty cool. So it doesn't seem to be very limited in its answers it's given. But also I asked it to make me a list of all the Roman emperors. And it made me a really long list of all these emperors. That was also pretty cool. Now, of course, this is similar to ChatGPT giving you sometimes wrong answers. So don't depend on the answers you're getting here. The AI will blatantly give you wrong answers. So here I asked what is the weather in Vienna and the local time. And it gave me the wrong weather and the wrong time without a hick, without even telling me, well, I don't have internet access. So don't really depend on the answers you get, but you can play around with it. It's very powerful. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this still. Leave a like if you enjoyed that and see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.